Actress Stephanie Limlin has a lot going on these days. She's in the delightful new series called Playdate, which you can check out on our partner website, AOL. And she's currently preparing for the biggest role of her life, motherhood. What's well, like life imitating art? It is, in many ways, because this past year I played in two different um, projects, a young mom, and that was the first time in my life. I am 33, but I look a little young for my age, so I was having trouble getting roles that were actually my age, and it was exciting for me to play a mom. Wait, and so how far along are you? I am almost 32 weeks. I get an email, you know, every week. All the young moms probably have this right now where you get your baby compared to what produce it looks like this week. So apparently I am carrying a jicama, which is not exactly the vegetable I can envision right off the bat, but it's big. It feels really big. The show is actually a dark comedy, um, and it's very entertaining. It's one of the projects, like I said, that I'm most proud of, not just because it's one of my biggest roles, but I really love the writing. I loved the director. It looks fabulous, um, and the music is amazing, and it moves really quickly. And really what it's about I play this, you know, young mom who was a high, had a high power job, which I think all of you guys kind of do. And it was a big transition for Amy to stay at home. And she wanted to be with her kids, but um, she got really bored and lonely after a little while. It's kind of like one of those Ben Stiller movies where everything bad keeps happening to him and by the end, you are <laughs> siding with him as the audience. But I look really bad by the end of this one. So, um, you know, I guess the question, a lot of my friends have really liked it, is have you had really difficult times with other moms and just kind of navigating this whole new social scene from what you were when you were a single woman before and working and you have couple friends and now it's like your social scene has changed. You know, I've had some, I feel like there've been some up and downs and moms can be very competitive, which yeah. is, <laughs> unsettling you you hope that you're kind of all in this together and it's like hey we're all moms and we're going to just pat each other on the back and it's going to be great and unfortunately it's not always like that so katie do you have a specific horror story that you recall you know one point i like found this really great babysitter and she was working for me and i sort of like shared her with friends and then the next thing i know she was no longer working for me and only working for the friends and i was like uh was that I, you know my husband was on tour you know for a year and i was just like oh oh my gosh, I have no support and I've like lost everything at once. So there've been little things along the way. Recently, had, my daughter Riley had a friend over and this was like not, a, you know, not planned, not a horror story, but her mom dropped her off. It was the first time she came over and I didn't really know the mom very well. It's like kindergarten, new friends, because that's a whole other level of new friendship making. And she just, you know, came in, said, oh, her brother doesn't feel well. I'm going to drop her. I'll be back in a couple hours. I'm like, great. She's gone five minutes. And the girl just barfed all over my family room. I was like, 